Hey, subscribers, welcome to another episode of Yub Plays. I wanted to show you guys today uh, something I found when I was scouring the internet for things that not that many people have played. Hopefully, probably not. Somebody made a Bendy, the Ink Machine, and Undertale crossover game called Bendy Tale. The link to this will be down in the description. It was hard to find because it is canceled. It has been canceled, but I thought, I mean, I'm not going to miss out on it just because they canceled it. I'd still like to check it out. Apparently, it came out a while back, and I missed it. So let's check out Bendy Tale. Dear Henry, seems like a lifetime since we worked on cartoons together. 30 years really slips away, doesn't it? If you're back in town, come visit the old workshop. This is so cool. So basically, they recreated Bendy the Ink Machine in an Undertale fan game, which is super cool. I, I've been so into Bendy lately that I really wanted to check this out. Okay, Joey, I'm here. What did you want to show me? Oh, it's spot on. New objective, find the ink machine. And they've got the Undertale soundtrack popping off. Can I look at any of this stuff? Artificial plants. Look, they've got the posters in there. they got the bendy cutouts. Locked. Is there anything? Do I have an... I actually have stuff? Ooh. Weapon fists. Oh my gosh, this has the... Well, I was about to say it has a potential to be really cool, but they freaking canceled it, so I guess it has potential to be exactly what it is right now. What? A cartoon froggit emerged. Hi, how are you? Should we pacifist or kill? What happens if I mercy them? Henry spared. I, something tells me there's not going to be a pacifist route in this, but I'll certainly try. Here's that projector. The old projector. Very descriptive guy here. Let's go. Ooh. Hello? Another cartoon froggit. I'm going to mercy. I feel like it doesn't matter. This doesn't seem like something that's going to have multiple routes in it. What's this blue lamp? I'm nothing. You can't even look at it. It's just nothing. Another old projector that we can't look at. Ink machine, it says through here. What's up, boy? You gonna jump me? Are you gonna jump? Nope. Bendy don't care. The dancing demon poster. Nothing. Nothing's happening here. So this is the ink machine, huh? So how do you care? What? Some door unlocked somewhere. Okay. Someone wrote die on the wall, which I feel like is just mean. Oh, look. Look what I did. I was like stuck back there for a second. Uh, uh. Oh, well, duh, it's just like the game. You can't just turn it on. Yub, you idiot. If it was supposed to be just like the game, that cardboard cutout should have moved. Oh, this is not a, a way to go. Okay, so something unlocked. Let's go check it out, my boys. I love, I don't know what it is with me. I just love these stupid little games that are not that big of a deal. I mean, I'm not calling the game stupid. I'm just saying I love these games that it's just someone made because they like something. I don't know why... I think it's because I wish I could make stuff like that, and I can't, so it just makes me happy. There's some footprints right here. What's the deal with these footprints? What does this say? Wally Franks. Oh, it's an audio tape, and at this point, I do not know what Joey is planning for this company. He says that we must give our table something to please a certain god, but I really do not think we need this machine. But I say one thing. If another pipe sticks, I'm out of here. The audio stopped. So they're kind of paraphrasing the tapes from the actual game. Uh, if for some reason you're here and you haven't seen Benny and the Ink Machine, you might miss some of the references or the entire story of this, so I highly suggest you go watch my video of this, since I'm selfish and I want the views. Uh, the link will be in the description. It's a game I really, really enjoy. So here's a coffin. Here are Boris the Wolf. Oh my god, Joey, what have you done? And it's got the Undertale coffin right here. The, <laughs> the crossover, it's hurting my brain, dude. Uh, if we could buy a spider donut out of there, I don't even know what. Why does it say run? Wait, did it say run? Oh my gosh, help. Why do all these say run? Here's this guy. It's an actual save point? Oh, cool. This is the projector room. There's another bendy cutout. One of my favorite bendy cutouts from the original game, actually. That one right there. I really like it. It's the scariest one to me. I like it a lot. So we can't turn this on. There's a switch right here that apparently... It's not time. It's not time yet. Let's go back. Can we go in here yet? We can. All right, here we go. Is this the one that's going to get me? I Please tell me there's a jump scare in this game. Okay, let's make it work. <laughs> Henry's a real uh, descriptive guy. Oh, we got to get the items and stuff, right? I need to do something to work. <laughs> I need to do something to work. So we need to go find a bunch of stuff. Oh, look, there's one right here. It was not here before. The paint pot. I have got in the paint pot. And I shall paint the pot. You got the paint pot? The only thing you're going to paint is the pot? Yes. I am so sorry. I talk the when I talk, a lot of dumb things happen. I'm, I'm, it's my bad. Should just stop talking. New silent gameplay channel. Okay, I'm gonna mercy you again, buddy. When we get to the very end, I tell you what. When we get to the very end, I'm not gonna fight anybody if I don't have to. We get to the very end. I'll go back and see if there's something I I need to do. Oh, there's a plushie. 
I'll go back and see if I can, what the fighting is like. I have a feeling though that it's not gonna be. Oh, here's a wrench, my boy. I don't even know all what stuff I have. What? Tell me. Items. I've got four. We need two more. Okay. Oh, here goes the gear. Here goes the gear. Like how he just didn't notice this stuff before. What an idiot! I would notice. I notice everything actually. I've never not noticed something. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. Henry got the upper hand. Ooh, it's like uh, earthbound a little bit. Where you get a, a critical hit sometimes, depending on which way you attack him from, or which way you walk into him from, in Earthbound. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a strong feeling that the, the whole pacifist genocide thing will not matter in this, but I'm at least gonna try, you know? Might as well look. Oh, here's the last thing over here, I think. Hold on one sec. Let's get it. <laughs> you got the book. Okay, that's all six. Let me hit that save point, baby. Did that just turn into a freaking large crystal for a second? Hold up. If you look at it from this side, it turns into a crystal. That's cool. Let us go this way. Sorry, just trying to find a good picture for the thumbnail. I think that's a contender. That's a good looking photo. Mm, looking just great. Okay, now first of all, I need to make the ink flow. This guy's a genius. Hit this thing. I need to do something. Oh my gosh, the busy work. It's just like chapter one of Bendy. <laughs> they make you do a bunch of tedious nonsense. If this is just like chapter one, and then behind a Boris poster in this room, there should be a secret. It doesn't look like there is one though. But that's where the secret room was in the actual game. All right, so we hit this, right? Boosh, now just turn on the machine. I'm going. So we haven't even seen Bendy yet. I'm excited to see what he looks like because we're, we're about to be at the point where Bendy chases you, right? You turn this on. Let's go to the ink machine. This really ain't gonna be a secret. This poster looks weird, man. All right, let's head to the ink machine and turn this hoe on real quick and see what we can freaking, see what we can freaking do. Also, I like how I, hey, stop it. I'm trying to talk to my YouTube friends. Will you stop? Thank you. Gosh, inconsiderate. I like how I still have these items, even though I put them down already. All right, so this is about to be where Bendy chases you at, but Undertale's not really a game that has chase scenes. Can I touch these hands right here? No. So I'm interested to see what it's gonna be like. Any secrets behind the post? No? Okay. I'm looking for secrets, dude. My oh, there he goes! Oh, this is very- this- see, now this is where they're taking the story into their own hands. But that's cool. If it was exactly the same, there'd be no reason to play it. Hi, Henry! It's been a long time, has it not? Bendy. But wait. Where's Joey? Let's say he was... silenced forever. So it was you who sent the letter? Yes. But why? To sacrifice you- oh my god. Do you see these souls? I caught the souls of some monsters so that I would become a god. Now, Henry, it's time for sacrifice. We gotta fight him? Can I spare? Or did he just kill me? He just kills you. Wow. Just a feel-good game, you know? Just a, <laughs> just a kind of a feel-good experience that you it warms the heart, really. Just warms my heart. Help the Meatly. Oh, they got Meatly's Patreon right there. That's awesome. So is there something after this? I could have sworn there was a chapter two of this. Did I make that up? It's looping the credits. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing gonna... Really? Okay. What about chapter two? I could have sworn this bro said there was a chapter two. Hold up. 11 months ago. That's how late I... Oh, look at this guy. That's a, that's a fantastic thumbnail right there. Yeah, that'll get the clicks. Yeah, look right here. Hello, everyone. Finally released chapter two of Bendy Tail. So wait, where is that download? Before I end the video, I did want to see if there's anything different that happens if you actually fight somebody. I kind of just want to see. I, I want to. I want to hurt people. What happens if you fight all the cartoon froggets until nobody came? That's probably not in this game, right? No one's even fighting me. So oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, cartoon frogget emerged. Fight, attack, act, talk. Let's talk to him. There was no effort. You talk with frogget, but he understands nothing. Ow! What the freak? I got a lot of HP. I'm strong. Um, guard items. Let's attack him. Let's, oh, it's very, um, earthbound. Very, very earthbound. Let's attack him and see what we get. Gosh, that's a loud sound effect. Whoa! Good lord, that is a, that's, that's how you win a battle right there. Good night. That was awesome. <laughs> okay, well, hey, Charlie, can you shut, I'm doing a YouTube thing. To every time with you. I cannot find the download link for chapter two of this, so if you have it, or you have, if you have the link, or you have the game, and you'd like to give it to me so I can make a video, I would love that, because the guy has canceled it, he's pulled all the downloads down. Uh, I will put this link right here, uh, this is the link to chapter one. Since he pulled it down, I mean, 
I, I still found the link. You're not supposed to, but I found it. So I'll put it in the description unless the developer asks me to take it down, in which case I'll respect that. But, so check that out in the description if you're trying to play it for yourself. Uh, and hit me up if you've got chapter two, because I want to check it out. Even if I don't make a video, I just kind of want to see what it's like. It, it looks cool to me. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here for this video. I really, truly appreciate it. I got another video coming out today, so stick around, and uh, I'll see you over there on that one. Make sure to, to try and keep your chin up and have a positive attitude in life, because otherwise it's really, really easy to get bummed out, and I don't want to see you bummed out. I want to see you happy. So stay positive. I love you. Make sure you hit all the little YouTube buttons on there at the bottom if you want to see more from me. And as always, have a bye five.